Our next stop is the Computer History Museum. I never knew that the word emoji was of Japanese origin. Picture, right, character. This is also a Chinese word too. This is the map of the museum and we're going to the revolution section, which is yellow. The first section is on calculators. Oh my gosh, this is huge. In comparison, <laughs> this is the world's first calculator, the abacus. See, calculator. See, at one point I knew how to use an abacus, but then I forgot. Move one, ten, one, one tens earth beat up one. Wait, what? I know how to work. Right now we created 62, because this is a five and a one, so that's six. And then this is two, so that's oh, 62. Oh, I know. This section is on punched cards. This computer is poorly designed because it looks like a toilet. This section's on analog computers, which is mechanical, not digital. You cannot call this like, this is nowhere near a computer. It's like, more like factory equipment. Section 4, Birth of the Computer. This Enigma machine was used by the Germans during World War II. They would type messages that they thought the Allies could not crack, but as the video said, the Allies did manage to crack the code and that made decoding messages much faster. It went from a matter of weeks to a matter of hours, and the video said that the ability to decode the Nazi messages might have shortened the war by two years. Number five, early computer companies. The next section is real-time computing. The next section is on memory and storage. The next section is software. This is super computer. It does look like a super computer. Like a lens. One for each eye. This section is mini computers. Here's a mini computer. It's so mini. This is not even adjusted for inflation. It's crazy. It's like a refrigerator. This gallery is on digital logic. Ah, uh, yes, I knew that. So I guess according to this law, it basically means that the chip will get more and more powerful. Exponential growth. This is a children's toy that my dad would use as a kid. It will say a word, and you just have to spell it on there. AI and robotics. I am a robot. We're going to check out computer, graphics, music, and art. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Is that a... VR? That looks like an old version of VR. Now we're going to play Pong, the first video game. My dad had this when he was Let's a kid. Move. It's a video game console. This is an early Apple computer. It actually looks not bad. Section 18 is mobile computing. 19 is networking and the web. This is the early days of the internet. And I find the Monopoly board interesting because it has eBay, Expedia, it has Yahoo, which is dead now. Lastly, what's next? This is a self-driving car. Vehicle of the future. And there's an emergency stop button. I've never seen a texting manual telling you how to text with OMG. LOL. <laughs> and that is the Computer History Museum. I like all the different games around the museum for uh, little ch children like me. Um, 
and I also like the history uh, in the in the main gallery. I enjoyed seeing all of the ancient devices that I never used, and that most of them look so bulky. I think that the calculators of the past looked really cool, though. I just wonder what the future technology will be like. We still don't have a section here about ChatGPT, though. See you in the next video. Bye.